JT family, welcome back to my channel. It's just Terry being me. I'm going to introduce you to the love of my life, Terrace. He's my husband, he's my husband. He's the voice you've been hearing in the background all this time. He did a little something. He did a little mukbang. And I enjoyed the video so much. I wanted to share it with you guys, share it with the rest of my family. Don't forget to share, 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 like, and subscribe. And don't forget to comment so I can shout you out on my next video. Hello, people. My people of the world, I'm eating here. I got some water in this cup. Got some juice in this cup. I get two because I, I like to get my water. You got to stay hydrated. That's one of the number one things in life is to stay hydrated. So this is right here, mushroom soup. That's all. Mm. That was good. Mm. You don't see me drinking a lot. I like to drink. Let's see. Cool down some. It was hot. I think I need more ice, but I'm good. Yeah. So how you guys day today? My day was good. I ain't do nothing but work. Talk to my son. Last week. I seen one of my sons, he came by. I was like, hey, happy to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. He was like, yeah, I'm going to Vegas tomorrow. I said, you doing what? You going to Vegas in the middle of pandemic? Nah, we're just gonna go by my girlfriend's mother's house. We're gonna just stay there. I said, oh, y'all flying? Said, nah, dad, we're gonna drive. I'm like, what? You're going to drive. I was shocked because this boy don't like to drive. So in Vegas from here is about an 18 hour drive. So about two years ago, mind you, he's 20, he'd be 26 years old. He's 26, so it had to be more than two years. It had to be about, he was like 21 at the time. We took a family trip. We went to the Grand Canyon. It's me, my wife, my my son, and my set of twins. They were young, so they couldn't drive. So we had three people in the car that had a license. Myself, of course. Then you had my wife, of course, and my son. They all had a license. I said, cool. We go on an 18-hour drive. I said, hey, we could do, we split it up. It should be no problem. My wife some reason she was terrified. I mean, terrified. I never seen somebody more terrified in my life than driving. But I've been working on this for like 22 years, trying to get her better. But it's not. It's, I haven't. I haven't done it yet. I'm still gonna try. It's not. It's not over. But anyway. Anyway, we on a road trip. I said, hey. Y'all just, if I get tired, y'all just keep it going. That's all I want y'all to do. Just keep it going. Keep the wheels moving. You don't gotta go fast. Just keep on the road. Just stay straight. Don't get off. You stay on I-10. All right, cool. 
So my son gets the suitcase in the road. The dude lasted one hour. One hour on the road. All right. This is ridiculous, man. How you tired after one hour? You been sleeping for... I've been driving for about 10 hours at the time. I said, you've been sleeping or doing whatever back there for the last 10 hours. How are you tired? You should be able to give me, you know, a good two hours. I give me a two hour nap. Then nah, he tired. So he got me hours. I got an hour nap. My wife in the back, she panicking because she afraid of his driving at the time. So he gets it. He got tired. I get back in the road. I drive again. I think I drove for another four hours. And then got on the side. Then I got on the side road. My wife was afraid of the highway. I said, you know what? You get on one side road. You know, I looked at my Google Maps. I tell you, this road right here, it parallels the highway. A lot of roads, it parallels the highway. You know, back in when they made a highway, they made a highway next to a state road. So you got state road. It was 90, you got 10, we're parallel. So it may go through the city and everything, but it's, it's, we're still going straight. So I give my wife the wheel. I said, listen, you're just driving down the street like you're in, you're in the city. She gives me 30 minutes. I'm like, oh my gosh. But anyway, we got to Vegas. I drove. Out uh, of 18 hours, I drove easy 16 of them. Probably 16 and a half. But that was, that's the story, man. It, it was rough. Anyway, getting back to his trip. He driving to Vegas last week. I'm shocked. Because like I said, he don't drive. Or well, he had been driving to Houston from here the last couple of times. He may drive to Austin, Houston, Austin. But it was like Austin, like an hour and a half. Houston, like four hours. So he going on a road trip now with a girl. So with his girl, he can't be no punk. He can't sit in that road and tell the girl, nah, I'm scared, I'm tired. Cause he can't have the girl out door. Can't do that. I want to do that. I want to do that. I can't have no girl out door. But yeah, he done Vegas now. Actually, right? Actually, they went to LA today. This one good soup. I know you ever had chicken noodle soup, not chicken noodle soup, cream of mushroom soup. Straight from the can, he had some milk, he had some of the seasons and spices and spice it up. Very good. But that was it. That was the road trip experience. <sighs> yeah, this pandemic stuff is a mess. This thing, you got people all scared. But like I said, what happened happens. The best thing you can do Stay home. Stay home. You know, if you can, if you can't stay home, stay home. Stay your butt at the clubs. Stay your butt at the malls. Stay your butt. Just look at me. I ain't going nowhere. I just, I'm just, I'm just me. But if you, if you stay at the clubs, stay at the malls, that's how you spread it. I don't know how are people going to bars right now. Really? How are you going to a bar? You can't drink with a mask on. Not possible. So, why are you in a rush to kill yourself? Actually, not really yourself you kill them. You may be fine. You take it back home, you kill others in your own house. You may kill your husband, you may kill your wife, your kids. People in your own house. Let's say your animals are getting in now. I want to put my animal outside. They be in the house all the time. I'm in the cage. Yeah, it's probably bad, but hey, I can have no, no animals running around my house. But some people do. 
Mm. But it's all good. So other than that, things are going well. But what I can't wait, you know, they say no rush, but I can't wait to go on a vacation again. I love traveling. You know, I really, really do like traveling. I like seeing other places, other things, doing, doing a lot of different things. I wish I had a, my wife would drive more. But I'm like I said, it's been 20 something years. And we still working on driving. They say we can drive on side roads. I don't care. All oh, the wheels are moving. But it's all good. Now they say it's all good in the hood. Anyway, I'm almost done. This was good. I probably shouldn't eat the whole thing, but I was hungry. I guess this was a feeding feed for your own day. Wife didn't cook for me today. Normally she cook. But today, you know what? It won't be bad if she let me know ahead of time that she's not cooking. Don't wait until it's time to eat and say, I'm not cooking today. That right there. That right there is what? I don't know. It's all right, though. Just give me give me like a day's notice. Maybe a six-hour notice. Six hours so I can make my mind up what I'm going to eat. My daughter said she's kind of dying today. I don't know. She ain't saying she was dying to me. She had, she had a good day today. Well, she was a dying when I seen her. She was doing great. Do you know what I haven't seen her do? Eat. Maybe that's why she's dying. Because she ain't eating. But she decided not to cook. She said we could fend for our own self today. Give me a schedule. She said, every Wednesday, I ain't cooking. I'm like, cool, I got it. You know what? Come to think about it, she ain't cooked yesterday either. So there's Tuesday and Wednesday. Ah, oh, man, we need to have a discussion, big talk. We need to figure this stuff out. What we gonna do? They say the do's and the don'ts. But I'm good. I'm nice and full now. Heard you to your uh, walk. You know what? My kids can cook for me sometimes too. They sure can. My babies are 20, they ain't 20 yet, they 19. But they be 20 years old. Hey guys, y'all take care. All right, peace out. It's me again, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I did when I saw it. Uh, he was just being himself. So, Remember guys, share, 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 like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, live life each day as if it was your last. Bye. Peace.